So folks, latest news from many outlets has suggested that Dan Wooten is not going to be back anytime soon at GB News. In fact, many are saying he's never going to be back. That's it. GB haven't yet confirmed it, but we're led to believe in meetings that they held with him last Friday. They as good as said to him, don't be looking to come back anytime soon because it isn't going to happen. I believe they've took certain publicity photos last week of the channel and many of its presenters. Oh, Danny Boy wasn't on them. Uh, yeah, um, it looks like he's gone. Turns out the guy that bankrolls the channel, and I believe the channel's lost at nigh on 30 million the last 12 months, but he's got very deep pockets. I think he's got 460, 470 million, I think, by all accounts. The guy that bankrolls the channel has wanted him gone for two or three months now. He doesn't actually run the channel for all he puts the money in. He's a benefactor, if you like, and the channel, I think, is his brainchild. Um, he wants to buy, I think it's the Sunday Telegraph and the Telegraph very, very shortly. He sees a chance of becoming a big uh, media baron like Murdoch used to be. Murdoch just pulled away and he see, sees himself as a, a successor and um, a big wheel uh, behind the Conservative Party there. He doesn't really want Wooten in tow. Um, I think he's uh, privately been saying to folk, he's not like Wooten's methods over the last few months. He doesn't like what he stands for. He's concerned about all the accusations that have been levelled against Wooten. He doesn't like the idea Wooten has been steadfast in, in his opinions of when people are called out for this, that or the other, they should be replaced until things get uh, sorted out in a court of law or at least after independent inquiries. But he's took a do totally different stand himself because he's not took his own medicine and walked away from the chair whilst he was looked into. Oh no, not at all. That's not Danny Boy's way. Yes, they say in that, uh, obviously, the uh, episode last week with Fox was the straw that broke the camel's back. They're also saying it gives the channel and mainly the benefactor a chance to get rid of him, to stand him down. They've wanted to do it for a number of months now. But as I suggested last week, and firstly, what, five, six, seven weeks ago, when the byline time stuff come into the open forum and Danny Boy defended himself live on air, I always said at that time he was very, very, very clever. He said, oh, they're after us, they're after me, they're after us, they're after GB News, they've always been after us, they hate how well we're doing, they're trying to close us down, we're not going to be closed down, we're too strong, we're sticking together, we're going to circle the wagons, they're not going to get rid of us, I'm telling you that now. It was very clever at the time, as I stated. It put a, a GB against the rest, us and them. They couldn't then get rid of him, they had to stand by him. For all he had, accusation after accusation after accusation levelled at him and it got worse and worse and worse. They couldn't do a lot, the hands were tied. Lawrence Fox last week, however, gave him ample opportunity to do something. It turns out, if reports are right that we're, we're being told, Wooten knew what he was going to say on the show. The production staff knew what he was going to say on the show. Many told Fox he shouldn't be saying it. Many told Wooten he shouldn't be saying it. I believe as he was talking on camera, they were in Wooten's ear saying you could do it cutting him, you could do it stepping in, but he didn't do. He gave a silly, well, it wasn't even an apology at then, was it? He just stepped in and said, well, well, well let, let, let's just say she's she's a good looking young lady. Well, I'm sure that meant the, the world to her. You've got the straight guy calling and saying he doesn't want to go to bed with her or worse to that effect. And then you've got gay as they come, Dan, saying how lovely looking she is. Well, that's not going to mean anything to her because she's never going to be on his uh, Christmas card list this year. He's gay. She's not. She's a woman. He could have done better than that. Anyway, as things got worse, he tried to grovel at night time. He never got taken up. Tried to grovel the following day. She never took him up on it. Then he put it all out there on Twitter, or X as they call it now, so everybody could see how unhappy he was and how upset he was. He tried to throw old Lawrence under the bus. He came in later that day and tried to throw the production staff under the bus. He wasn't happy at all because it turns out in the two or three months in, since these accusations were levelled at him by Byline Times, they've stuck by him. Many haven't really wanted to, but they've stuck by him. And as soon as it turned toxic last week on there and it looked like he was in trouble and he could be losing his position there at the front of the show, he turned on them all. Yeah, they say, no, Danny Boy never had any time for anybody in the back room at all. Wasn't particularly nice with them. Same as we've heard it when he was at the Sun and, and at ITV. He wasn't nice with anybody, really. Not not a nice fella at all. Used to come in an hour or two before his show started every night. 
But as soon as all these accusations were levelled at him, oh, he was a different person. He was great with all of them. He used to come in early afternoon with cakes, with biscuits, with donuts, looking after them all. Oh, aye. He wanted them all on his side. He needed that comfort blanket. So he changed completely from being someone that didn't care about them and talked down to them to being somebody that really needed them and tried, went over the top with them. They all saw through him. They didn't like him. And many now are privately saying, we're glad he's gone. So it looks like that's it for Danny Boy. It looks like we won't be seeing him again. Reports are stating that he might even trundle off to Wellington. That's in the old New Zealand. He's got family there. He might go and see family. I would say I do up some of these people that are uh, telling tales and I'm in byline news and I'm supposed to have gone to the police. I do up the police are being active and some of these people telling tales and him want to prosecute uh, because if they do, you never know. He might not get a chance to go to Wellington. He might be thrown in clink over here. It might be from GB News to GB Jail. It'd be, you know, if he's done the things he's done, he deserves it. Anyway, if he did end up in Wellington, it wouldn't bother me one iota. As I said at the outset, I've never really liked him, never had any time for him, and it looks like he is the horrible human being that I probably always thought he was. But that's only my opinion. Again, as I've said before, I know some people on here like him. I know some people did. I'm hoping they've changed their opinion as we're hearing more and more and more about him. Some probably like that fox fella. But what he said last week was a step too far. Whether you like him or not, it was too far. Anyway, they've both got the comeuppance for it. And I think Danny Boy's going to get more in future. Anyway, that's it from me on this one.